All right, hey there, it's Jim again. Just a second ago, we set up analytics on our page in the last video that I just recorded for you here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install a click to call filter so that you can track events when somebody goes to your website and clicks the call button. So on my demo website here, I have a click to call button. And when you click it, it uh, tries to open FaceTime uh, just cause I'm on a Mac. But if you do that on a mobile device, it will actually try and call that number or prompt you to call that number. So a click to call link is a lot like a regular link. The only difference is if you look here in the href, this is a starts with a TEL instead of an HTTP colon. So it starts with a TEL colon. So that's how you can differentiate a click to call link. All right, so using that information, we're gonna go over into Tag Manager and we're gonna tell Tag Manager to look for those links and fire off an event in analytics. So the first step is obviously going over to Google Tag Manager. So we have our page view tag that we put in there a few minutes ago. We're going to go ahead and add one more new tag, and this one is going to call. Or this one's going to be called Click to Call. Okay, we're just going to name it Click to Call. You can name it whatever you want, but I just like to know. I like to describe the tags of what they are. So for the tag configuration, we're going to again use Google Analytics Universal Analytics tag. Okay. In this settings for this though, instead of tracking page views, we're going to call this a tracking an event. So in the event, now you can put these as whatever you want, but I'm going to do it this way just because um, I like to keep things uniform. So I do this on most, uh, on most so that we can uh, you know, uniformly know what to expect among everybody at Mosher Data. But uh, under the category, we're going to put conversion. And under action, we're going to put phone call. Under the label section, what we want to do is we want to track what page somebody was on when they clicked that click to call phone number. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this little Lego block over here and we're going to go and we're going to find page path. We're going to click on that and that will store that in the label. The value we're going to keep blank but we do need to select the Google Analytics ID we um, set up in the first video. So we're going to select the Google ID or GAID variable. Now, now we've got the basic settings. Now we've got to talk about triggering. So triggering is what causes this to happen. So in the last video, we did the page view and it fires that tag on every page. Well, on this one, we only want to, we only want to fire the tag when somebody actually clicks a link. Uh, and more specifically, the click to call link. So as you can see, when I go to choose a trigger, there is no click to call trigger. So what we're going to do is we're just going to actually create a new trigger. And we will call this C, uh, I'll just do CTC trigger. Okay, so trigger configuration, we're going to edit that. We're going to go down here and say just links. So just links is going to um, give us just a couple of little things here. Now, a lot of times we can go wait for tags, which is, is fine. Um, you can um, check validation if not. Um, sometimes in an advanced uh, setting, what we'll do is we'll limit this to mobile devices. I'm not going to do that for this. But what this does, wait for tags, is this gives it a couple of seconds for the whole page to load before this, this trigger starts sniffing. But we want to fire the trigger on some link clicks. We don't want it on all, we just want it on some. And so it automatically is giving us, whoops, is automatically prompting us for a click URL. And then what we want to say is starts with, and we want to put TEL colon. Okay, that's the end of our trigger. So we have. Um, Oh yeah, sorry. When we have to put this filter in here, um, page path. Let's see here. Page path matches regex, and we'll just put point star. Okay, so uh, when you when you do this wait for tag and the validation, this is this is gonna um, it's gonna make you fill in this box here, and the reason is is because it it's. It's just trying to, when you, whenever you do an advanced setting, it just wants to make sure it's specific about what pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to say the page path matches the regular expression point star, which means one or more characters of any kind, or zero or more characters of any kind. Um, and so anyway, we're going to hit save. 
Okay, so now our trigger is down here. Our tag's in here. So now we're going to get save again. All right. So we have our click to call. As in everything you do in Tag Manager, you have to hit submit. And what I'm saying I'm going to do is add click to call. I'm going to hit publish. Now you can see we've published our workspace. We're still in preview mode. I explained that to you in the first one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We're going to reload this. And up comes my Google Analytics. You notice how the click to call did not fire. So now how we test this is with this uh, Google Tag Manager preview open, we just go here and click. OK, cancel. But you see how now the click to call event is now tags fired on this page. So we know that our, our, our tags are firing. And we can verify this by going back over here under uh, analytics. And let's go to real time. Under real time, we're going to go to events. And look at that, conversion phone call. So it says that the event happened. Now that in itself won't add anything down here into conversions. So this is a brand new analytics account, so there's no goals configured. It's going to prompt me to set up goals. If you already have goals, then you know it would show you that, and you'd have to go to admin. But um, I'll just I'll, instead of clicking there and taking the shortcut, I'll show you how to get there. So we're going to go to admin, and then we're going to go to goals over on the right hand column and new goal. So the goal we're going to go we're going to go bypass all of this stuff. We're just going to go to custom continue we're going to say click to call from website okay the goal id doesn't matter what you choose but you can do that but now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to event under the type we hit continue so here's what we don't want to do we want to be somewhat specific but not super specific so what we're going to do is we're going to enter the category of conversion and we are going to put the action of phone call I believe that's what we configured was it not let's go back over here and double check uh, oops tags we go into click to call yep conversion and phone call but remember we put the label in there we're gonna leave the label blank so what that mean what reason we do that is because we want to use the label as a reporting metric but we don't necessarily want it to match anything to record this this goal so use the event value as the goal value um, and, and you can just since we left the value blank it's gonna be blank you can leave that you know there that's fine we'll hit save if we hit verify this goal since we just did it it's saying a 0% conversion rate but as you saw it's on there so we'll hit save so now our goal's in there. Let's go back to our real time. Let's look at conversions. So let's click to call from website. It says zero. So let's go back to our website. Let's just refresh the page for good measure. And now let's click the call now button. We just had our, we just had our um, FaceTime thing come up. Our click to call event is there. And now look there, it should change from zero to one. There it is, see it? And now you have essentially or uh, officially installed a click to call trigger on your website. Congratulations.